Welcome back to Homestead, Mississippi. Appreciate you tuning in. Well, this video, we had a lot going on this week. You're going to see some new animals, and I'm going to do a couple of interviews. I'm going to interview the family, introduce you officially to Eli and Gabriel, then Maya and Genesis, even Octavia, our baby girl, and Mama. Mama, very briefly, because, well, she's a bit camera shy, but I got her. <laughs> Let's get started with the first interview with Eli. Then we're going to go on a road trip, me and the boys. Then me and Mama went on a wild road trip, and you'll see about that. Then we're going to see about some new life. This is Eli, my oldest son. Eli, I have some questions I want to ask you. Yes, sir. <laughs> we used to live in the city, didn't we? Yes, sir. Did you li enjoy living in the city? Not as much as I do here. You like it here on the farm? Yes, sir. What What's the one thing that you like the most about living on the farm? Mm, taking care of the goats. You like taking care of the goats? Good deal. How about working with me? Do you like working out here, doing work, cutting the grass, building the house? Yes, sir. You do? Okay. You can be honest. If you don't like it, you just say it. I do like it. All right. Do you miss anything about living in the city? Well, what would be the one thing that you miss the most about living in the city? Okay. <laughs> Not a lot, huh? All right. So, hmm. What's another good question for you, buddy? Homeschool. You homeschool, right? Yes, sir. What grade are you going to be in this year? Fourth. Fourth? Do you like homeschooling? Yes, sir. Who, who's your second favorite teacher? Mama. You had my first. Oh, Mama's going to watch this. You're going to be in trouble now. I was trying to get you to say I was a second favorite. Good gracious, boy. Don't you catch anything? All right. So, at what age did you start having dimples in your when you smile in your cheeks? Zero. <laughs> I don't. Do you like the dimples? I don't know what those are. <laughs> All right, buddy. I love you. I love you. All right. I got my boys Eli and Gabriel with me back here in the back seat. We are going to pick up a blue healer female puppy to put in with our female goats. Togo is going to graduate and move over to take care of our male goats. And we're moving them away from the females because we believe all of the females are bred. And we want to move those boys over as soon as we can. Therefore, the females needed a protector with them. So we're going to give them a blue healer. She's a puppy. She's going to be beautiful. And we're going to meet her in just about an hour. All right. The boys have the new puppy. We haven't named her yet. We're going to wait till we get home with the ladies and let them help us name her. There she is. Gabriel. Hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> so, you are Gabriel O'Neill, my second son. Your first name is what? Joseph. That's right. It's Joseph. But we like calling you Gabriel, don't we? Your middle name, Joseph Gabriel. Are you okay with that? You like yes, that? Sir. Good. Good. So, you used to live in the city with us too, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Did you like living in the city? Not at all? Come on. We were right down the street from the stores. We'd go to Walmart and be there in five minutes. Oh, you kind of liked that, didn't you? No. <laughs> no? No, you like having to drive 45 minutes to a Walmart? Really? I'd rather be here. You'd rather be here. Okay. Why? What, what's your favorite thing about being here? 
that animals and feeling them. All right. Which one's your favorite animal? The goats. They are? Not your chickens? You love the chickens. You chase them and grab them and carry them everywhere. The goats are my favorite, though. Okay. Do you have a favorite goat? Which one's your favorite goat? Abigail. Abigail? She is cute, isn't she? And sweet. Yep. You're going to like her a lot when she starts giving you milk, huh? Because you like goat milk. Because goat milk's good for you. You're a little allergic, huh? Yeah. What are you allergic to? Cherries, wappy, rats, wap poop, and milk. And cow milk. Cow milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, cats. And cats, yeah. Yeah. Quite a few things we try to stay away from. Well, you're doing good out here, huh? And shedding dogs. And shedding dogs. That's right. That's correct. But Togo, he sheds a little bit. You just stay away from him mostly, don't you? Yeah, as long as you're not around him a lot. Why are you looking behind me? Your brother's doing something? Whatever. <laughs> I love you. I love you. All right, buddy. That's good. But isn't he allergic to pollen? Well, Mama and I went out grocery shopping this afternoon. And um, just happened to look online and talk to someone we bought a goat from before. And, and well... I think you can hear what we have in the background. This is Beezus and Artemis, her baby. I don't know if you see her. Beezus is in milk, and we are really, really wanting to get some milk as soon as we could. And, um, well, so we got them. We're going to take them home. The kids have no clue anything about this. And uh, this is kind of one of those... Uh, on the shelf we really want it type of moments <laughs> and uh here they are octavia was asleep during the purchase she just woke up so she's probably like oh my goodness what's going on <laughs> so anyway we are New milk goat owners. Well, we are now here, obviously, with the ducks and Maya and Genesis. Maya is, are you eight or nine this year? Twelve. Twelve? Oh, how did I miss that? And Genesis is... 16 gonna be 17 here in just a few weeks and one more year and we can kick her out right no. oh i thought you wanted to move back to the city i do not you do not why not because it's so loud really you're sitting next to ducks <laughs> i understand but that not that kind of loud you get all these cars going and you get all this stuff mm -hmm. Maya, you aren't even looking at me. So, are you ready to move back to the city? We're not moving back. <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> no, you say you want to start a homestead here. Okay. Not in the city. Oh, well, which one, you like it better here or the city? Here. Here? What's your shirt say? Let me see it. Let's see it. What's it say? Read it. Buckle up, buttercup. Oh. <laughs> uh, which one of those horses is you? That. You're the brown one. All right. Is Genesis one of them? Mm -hmm. Which one's I Genesis? Just, I just no, that hold one. on. She's the one with the spots. She's the one with the spots. <laughs> Don't you like that on camera that's disgusting don't worry i'll cut that out she's in her <laughs> like a cow i will post that if you want me to that was disgusting matter of fact i may post this anyway just because it's got to be seen oh my goodness that was what about you like I, I was about to say mm, you got the wrong shirt on sweetie 
Good gracious. I used to have a cow shirt. I said I don't know where it went. Mm. Yeah. So, Genesis. Yes, sir. What's your favorite animal out here on the farm? My favorite animal? Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't... I, I mean, the ducks are, like, very interesting. Yeah, like those that were just chasing that poor animal. <laughs> yes. That bug. I mean, that I've caught been in the feeding air. them over here. I've been feeding them the beans. And they've been all around here. Beans? Well, yeah, what are y'all doing here? What is this? Um, well, well, we were blessed with some butter beans. Okay. By a friend named Nancy. And now we are picking them. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Throwing them. Not it sounded much. like you were feeding the ducks. Well, we were. Well, well no, we were. Uh, so, Maya, Maya, what's your favorite animal on this farm? I, I know your favorite animal is right there on your shirt, a horse. Mm. We ain't got a horse, but we got donkeys. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Not the donkeys, but overall. All of them. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> All right. So, who on the back of my truck dislikes homeschooling? <laughs> okay, I didn't say who dislikes school. I said homeschooling. No. I don't think any of us I, don't think so. I mean, your alternative is going to public school. Are you ready? You want to do that? No. Okay. I just want to school. Yeah, see, I didn't ask about school. I said homeschooling. Okay. No, I like homeschool. Like, All right. I like it. I All right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Genesis, yeah. you've got, like, what, one chore out here? What do you do? No. I what do you mean, no? You don't do anything? <laughs> I do Lazy more than thing. one thing. <laughs> what do you do? Well, I feed the birds. Okay. The ducks, the chickens, the guineas, and then... Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, we don't have to go through everything. <laughs> What's your favorite one? Taking out trash. No. No? Oh, oh that's right. I, I gave that one to Eli recently, didn't I? Yeah. Except he doesn't know. Eli, is your favorite chore taking out trash? My favorite chore is feeding the animals. Oh, feeding the animals. I figured it was taking out trash. I mean, feeding the goats is fun, but I do enjoy doing the birds. They're a pain. Yep. What? They're a pain? I thought you enjoyed what do you, What do you mean? I enjoy it, but sometimes it can be a pain. <laughs> That's life, though, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. I'll let you all off easy. Just wanted to let you goyles do a little talking. Let everyone actually meet you. We just did the boys a second ago. All right. All right. Sounds good. Bye bye. Bye bye. Adios. So uh, we have Bezos, Abigail, the baby, and Abraham together. I pulled up our fence that was out next to the goat pen, and I put it now here for these goats. And you can see what I've done here. Got them in this area here. And I went ahead and took care of the peach trees and the fig trees and the apple tree with the fence continuing and a little rose bush. So it's, they're separated from that. But now, uh, and also the little garden over there, I took care of it, a little fence around there. And um, so now I have to build them a quick shelter. And um, I've got something for the baby because mama's gonna separate the baby tonight so she can milk in the morning. Then the baby can have mama back all day tomorrow after the milking. And uh, oh, excuse me. I've gotta do a real quick shelter. So don't judge me on it, it's something real quick. And um, so they have something tonight. So I don't know if it's gonna be the best, <laughs> but I'm gonna do my best to get them something tonight. Um, and, uh, after that, we'll go from there. If I need to get them a new one, I'll build them a new one. So me and the boys were making a shelter and, um, well, ran into an issue. I'll give you about five seconds to guess what it was. Well, 
in the middle of making the uh, shelter for the goats, we had to stop. It, uh, summertime thunderstorm hit us. So me and the girls and the boys had to jump up here and cover the floor of the house because water is no good to plywood. And uh, so we made quick work of that. And uh, then we had to finish the goat. Uh, we made quick work of that. Then we had to finish the goat house. Temporary, mind you. Um, had to do it out here in the rain. And uh, <laughs> I guess we could let them stay out in the rain, huh? Yeah, that's not nice. So uh, <laughs> we didn't. And uh, just built something for them real quick. I'm going to show it to you real quick and then we're going to get inside. It's uh, here's, here's our milking station for mama tomorrow morning. And um, so yeah, added a little extra for them. They've got the table in front of their little shelter. But it's just something for them to get out of the rain real fast. And of course, they are people goats. They want to be around people. Even if it's raining. Well, this is Octavia Grace, our youngest baby girl. She's wonderful, beautiful, and we love her. She's full of joy, and we are just happy as we can be. Ain't we, baby? Ain't we, baby? Can Daddy have a kiss? Mm -hmm. Oh, so sweet. So we've got a lot of excitement on the farm today. And one of the most excited people right now is Mama. And I'm going to introduce her real quick. She's a little camera shy. So just real quick, she's right over here. Mama, are you excited? Very excited. My wife of 22 years. Beautiful. We're still in love. 